It was the colour of choice for many kings and cardinals in the past and was sought after for centuries. And now it's been celebrated in Rome with its very own exhibition. Let's take a look at why people are seeing red. It was a colour like no other. And in Rome, they're painting the town red with Venezia Scarlatta. An exhibition featuring Renaissance masters like Lorenzo Lotto, Giovanni Girolamo Savoldo and Giovanni Cariani. Red has always been associated with nobility and the church, like Lotto's this painting, Mystical Marriage of St. Catherine and Saints. Lotto obtained the shade of red by blending different kinds of substances in different layers and veils, often in a quite surprising manner, as concerns the use and chemical composition. He obtained results that we can appreciate for their brightness and freshness. Venice back then was the place for the brightest colors thanks to its artisans. Through these different reds, the painters express what it means to paint in the 16th century and their relationship with buyers, which was the core of the painting. The importance of a color in the paintings of the period, because as we know, that the colors had an economic value. It was a symbol of luxury, and in the case of Scarlet, there was a deep connection between the color and the physical materials, as you can clearly see in these paintings. During the 15th and 16th centuries, Venetian painters were distinguished by their bold choice of colors. Later, Venetian scarlet became known all around the world. The reasons for this choice depend on the fact that in Venice, the colors scarlet red and carmine red have an absolutely central role, because red is not just a color or a wavelength, but it's something three-dimensional that is extremely important for the Venetian visual culture and of the early 16th century. Exhibition Venezia Scarlatta runs at the Palazzo Barberini in Rome till mid-June.